Um, and so I will open up the bag. I don't know how this is gonna be best to film this. Uh, should I push it down? And then you can see my mess. So I just want to give a little disclaimer about this video. Um, I am not going to handle any negativity on this video considering the fact that some of these uh, eyeshadow palettes that I have in here that I do use on myself. Um, the only things in here that I use on myself um, that I include in this kit are powder products. Everything else is a duplicate that I have just for my kit. Uh, powders do not hold uh, bacteria like a cream or a liquid does and everything is sanitized before anyone uses it or I use it on anybody so if I see any negativity in the comments about the fact that I use an eyeshadow palette that I use on myself on other people um, I'm gonna block you because it's stupid because uh, no one gets any diseases everyone is safe when um, I'm doing their makeup also I had just put this stuff in there to film the video really quickly so I had not yet had a chance to wipe off my eyeshadow palettes and my lip palettes is something I do every time before I go to a job so I know my one palette looked a little dingy that is because I hadn't wiped it off yet but please be aware that I wipe it off uh, before I use it on anybody so again I don't want to hear any negativity because everything was properly clean and sanitized as always before I used it on a customer. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a kind of look into my kit that I bring with me to a wedding trial. So I'm about to go to a wedding trial here very soon. And so I thought it would be cool to show you guys what I bring to a wedding trial so you guys can see kind of uh, what a professional feels like is necessary to bring, what you guys would need to bring with you um, if you were going to start doing wedding uh, makeup and you want to know what you're gonna need to go to a makeup trial so that you know you have like everything you could possibly need um, to satisfy the customer. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it's helpful for you. And if you want to see everything in my kit, then please keep watching. So when I go on a, um, to a trial or to a wedding, pretty much any job at this point, um, I will use this guy right here, which is my, um, Mac briefcase. So this is the newest bag from Mac that's like gigantic and um, it holds a lot of stuff. I've also used this like traveling as my suitcase and it has enough room to where you can have like clothes and other stuff in it too if you want to use it for an actual briefcase or um, like a suitcase when you're not doing makeup jobs. So that's what I like about it. So in the side here pocket I have here my wedding contract and so this kind of is just the contract to make sure everyone is covered as far as you know the expectations for the makeup and you know the money and everything like that so I keep two copies that way we can both sign a copy and both have one me and the bride so that everyone feels comfy and is covered as far as the money goes. So that's very important to have. Okay, so I moved to my bed because I feel like this would be a lot easier to show you everything. Um, so this is what the briefcase looks like. You do have lots of pockets on the outsides on both sides, but I don't keep anything out there other than that uh, folder with my contracts. So on the inside, you have three permanent pockets over here, and then you will have a flap in the middle that is removable. And then over here you have four removable plastic containers with zippers and um, all four of these are like it's two small sizes and two large sizes. So over on this large side, I'll start over here. So I have one bag here of eye stuff. Okay, so in this bag I have just like some random pigments that I feel like are very bridal. So like vanilla and blonde gold from MAC. I have um, gel liners, I have dip, uh, dip down I think, no, low lights from MAC and Maybelline Eye Studio, the black one. I have pressed pigments, so I like to bring these because I feel like these are a nice kind of like added touch, like top coat kind of thing over different neutral looks. They work really well 
um, just to add a little sparkle and like shine to an eye makeup look. And then I also have liners. So I bring a fair amount of liners. There are, um, whoops, there are like eyeliners. Um, there are nude, brown, black, plum. I'll bring um, some lighter ones. I have different formulas to see what works best on someone's eye. Um, and just with their kind of anatomy. Okay, so for eyebrows, I just like to bring these pencils. They're my favorite, the MAC um, Mechanical Brow Pencils, and I bring five different colors. I have Stylized, Lingering, Spiked, Accentuated, and Fling. So these are kind of different undertones, different darknesses, some lighter, some darker, some more gray, some more warm, just so I have um, options. Next in this little bag, um, I just have highlighters. So I have Becca's opal and champagne pop and then i have film noir blush and samoa silk so this is kind of where i'll put like if i feel like i know the bride wants neutral kind of look i'll change out like the extras so for example i know she's going to want something warm and neutral so i brought more warm neutral little extra pieces anything that i feel like is not in my palettes that i feel like i might use on someone as far as like maybe an eyeshadow or a blush or something i'll put it in there and here I have lip stuff. So I have lip liners, lip glass, and then some lipstick. And here I have six different liners. I go from very light to darker, and I have neutral, and then some more colorful ones. And I know my client today is fairly tan, so I didn't bring any liners that are really, really light. If I felt like I had a really pale customer, I would bring some even lighter ones. And then I just have some random like glosses, uh, different colors, a lot of neutral and then again a random like deeper red and a pink just in case she decides she wants to go for more of a colorful lip next in here I have all my face stuff so what I'll do is I have three of the MAC highlighting pens I have bright forecast radiant rose and light boost because I know she is not a deep skin tone so I don't need to bring the darkest one I have different colors of mineralized powder because it's my favorite setting powder for brides. So the colors I brought were medium, medium plus, medium tan, medium dark, and medium golden. So lots of the medium mid-tone shades, they're different undertones, so that's why I like to bring a couple different ones. And then I have prolonged wear concealers, NC20, NC30, and NW25. I have Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, and then for foundation, I only use Double Wear Light on brides and most of my freelance, and I bring the shades 0.5, 1, 3.5, and 5.0, because that gives me a good range of light to darker, and then I will also bring my Studio Finish Conceal and Correct palettes in the color light and medium as well. And that covers all my bases as far as foundation, powder, concealer, spot concealing, under eye concealing, anything like that. Into the center part here on this side, I just have lashes. I brought four different styles for her to choose from. I have tweez lash tweezers, regular tweezers, and lash glue in there. So as far as the lash styles go, I have sevens, threes, 21s, and 20s and that gives me a good range of more natural to more intense lashes for her to choose from. Over on this side, I have brushes. So in here, I have my eye and lip brushes, and I will pick a pretty good selection just in case like maybe someone else is there getting watching her get her makeup done, and they decide they want their makeup done too, and I can make a couple extra bucks and do another makeup really quick. So I like to bring extra, so I have like thin liner brushes, angled liner brushes, lots of 217s, um, a couple flat brushes, a couple big fluffy brushes, like a paddle brush like this. I just have a good selection here, as well as a couple lit brushes. And then on this side I have face brushes. So I have um, foundation brushes, I have lots of small like face brushes. I have um, powder brushes, detail brushes, all different kinds of brushes in there. And again, I bring extras of a lot of them just to make sure that, you know, in case someone else wants to get their makeup done and I can make an extra couple bucks, I can do that. In here on these permanent pockets on this side, I have uh, makeup wipes. 
And this is just skincare prep. I have Prep and Prime Fix Plus Coconut Scent. I have Complete Comfort Cream from MAC. And I have Softening Lotion, which is amazing. So these are all my favorite products to prep the skin. For disposables, I just have some lip ones, I have some spatulas, some mascara ones, and then a petri dish. And I forgot to mention, I do bring a mascara too. Duh. <laughs> so then in this last pocket over here, I have my palettes. So I like to bring this, which is my custom palette, which I have posted on Instagram before. So all these colors are listed on my Instagram post where I put this palette up. I then have a lipstick palette and I put a lot of different kind of shades in there, ranging from, oops, ranging from really neutral to pinks to corals to really hot pinks, purples, and then reds. So again, I have options. And then I bring my contour highlight palette, and these are all from MAC Pro, so these are all pro colors. And then I will bring a blush palette with um, different undertones and different shades so I can mix. I don't really use these. They were already in this palette, so they just stayed in there. But I generally stay in this area, and I'll kind of mix and match as I need to. And then just in case, I will bring my Jaclyn Hill palette just because it has other options. So like say she really wanted a green eye, I have that option or she wants more purples because sometimes brides will want to do something more like a mauve purple eye. I have that as well as my MAC um, times nine, purple times nine palette. And this is again good because I can add a little purple but it's not too like bright purple so it's good for bridal. I also have a little beauty blender in here. Oops, beauty blender in here um, in case you know I want to use this for any reason. All right, so that's pretty much everything. I will also have like a little bottle of um, alcohol um, and paper towels that I'll also bring just to be sanitary. But that's pretty much it. It gives me good options as far as like different kind of eyeshadow looks I can do. Um, I have a lot of different foundation options for different people um, and yeah so it gives me a good base to work from and then if I finish the makeup and there's anything me and the bride feel like we want to do differently for next time I'll know you know to take note and be like okay well she wants more green next time so you know I'm gonna pack for the final wedding kit I'm gonna pack more green stuff or let's take out this let's add this so it's a good basis to start from and you can make notes on your like bridal contract I'll go on the back and kind of make any notes of maybe products I want to make sure I remember that I used on her anything like that I'll do that alright guys so that is my finished video I hope you found it helpful and you figured out maybe some things you hadn't thought of before to put in your kit or uh, whatever it may be. I hope you found it helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching, and please recommend any more of these kind of videos you would like to see as far as like professional makeup artistry goes and like kit kind of stuff. If you want to see anything else, please let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you next time. Bye. So I just want to give a little disclaimer about this video. Um, I am not going to handle any negativity on this video considering the fact that some of these uh, eyeshadow palettes that I have in here that I do use on myself. Um, the only things in here that I use on myself um, that I include in this kit are powder products. Everything else is a duplicate that I have just for my kit. Uh, powders do not hold uh, bacteria like a cream or liquid does and everything is sanitized before anyone uses it or I use it on anybody so if I see any negativity in the comments about the fact that I use an eyeshadow palette that I use on myself on other people um, I'm gonna block you because it's stupid because uh, no one gets any diseases everyone is safe when um, I'm doing their makeup also I had just put this stuff in there to film the video really quickly so I had not yet had a chance to wipe off my eyeshadow palettes and my lip palettes is something I do every time before I go to a job so I know my one palette looked a little dingy that is because I hadn't wiped it off yet but please be aware that I wipe it off uh, before I use it on anybody so again I don't want to hear any negativity because everything was properly clean and sanitized as always before I used it on a customer.